All right, everyone. Uh, my name is Blake Romano. I'm a senior software engineer at Imagine Learning, building our internal developer platform. And today, I'm going to be talking through the many layers of Crossplane and kind of give you a little lightning tour. So you may be asking, you know, what is Crossplane? Uh, Crossplane is a control plane framework um, that is highly sensible and allows you to build platforms and based on kind of Kubernetes and talk to various different cloud providers, uh, source control management tools, observability tools, um, and build a control plane around that, kind of using this framework. So, you know, you may be asking, great, Crossplane sounds cool, why should I be using it? Um, so, coming from Imagine Learning, which we're an education technology company, we wanted to build an internal developer platform to help our developers, you know, deploy faster, move faster, and safer. Um, so, with, with adoption of Crossplane, we've seen that deployments are actually happening about 80% faster um, with Crossplane to our cloud resources. Um, and this is due to the way we're able to abstract using Crossplane, using, you know, composition composite resource definitions, which is similar to CRDs. And we're also to be able to maintain security, reliability, and cost standards by being able to abstract away all the complexities that, you know, as an application developer, you may say, hey, I don't really need to worry about encryption. You know, the platform can handle that for me. So we're able to maintain all those standards by abstracting all those complexities away through compositions. One other thing that we were able to do is written our control plane in a language that we, we chose. Um, so we're writing our control plane in Golang and testing with you know, kind of our normal coding standards and with some of the utilities that Crossplane gives us by utilizing composition functions. We're also able to reduce the complexity of continuous deployment because now Kubernetes is our single deployment uh, location. We're only deploying things into Kubernetes using Crossplane. And so now we only have a single CD pipeline for anything we may want to deploy in our world, which grassly, uh, or vastly reduces the complexity. Um, in Crossplane in general, one of the exciting things that has happened in the past six to 12 months is uh, composition functions have went GA. Um, this is super exciting news uh, for somebody who loves composition functions. Um, you're able to create pipelines where um, you can use things like Go templating, Q, KCL, PKL, and much more to be able to take your observed state and create resources based off that observed state. Um, and also, you know, start bubbling up errors to developers about, you know, what's going on in your cloud. And you can also build your own composition functions. So composition functions are based off of gRPC um, and a protobuf. So anything that works with gRPC, you can build a composition function with. There's also SDK supported for Java, Python, and Golang that you can feel free to kind of play around and build your own composition function. Um, it's a super fun tool and super fun technology. So highly recommend um, that you take a look at it. And you may be asking, you know, what else is Crossplane up to? Um, and we're excited to see that the Crossplane community is really continuing to grow and build awesome features. Um, one feature that went into alpha recently is a concept called cloud change logs. And this will allow you to have a audit trail of every interaction that Crossplane is making with your cloud provider or source control management tool or anything you're working with Crossplane. You also can now bubble up errors and conditions on claims, which is really helpful for the developers working and interacting with Crossplane to be able to start seeing errors all the way at the top level. There's also been a handful of CLI command improvements to help developers interacting with Crossplane to be able to interact with the tool easier and have a lot more utilities around that. One of the other things that the community has been talking about is we need better observability on Crossplane, right? You're dealing with reconciling potentially thousands of resources and you need a really strong observability uh, status for that. And so we've added new metrics to kind of uh, evaluate things like uh, reconciliation time and how many reconciliations, how many interactions are you having with, you know, for example, your cloud provider. And there's also been some investments in package manager um, with the idea of being able to automatically upgrade dependencies and also be able to streamline the, uh, pulling private images and, and private packages, private repos. Um, and the idea with package manager is really, you know, eventually to have a single CRD that can manage your entire control plane. Um, the other kind of exciting thing is uh, Crossplane is an incubating project in CNCF right now, but we're up for graduation. Um, if you're working with Crossplane, we'd love to hear about your adoption of Crossplane. Um, so feel free to scan the QR code and share your story in the adopters file. In the Crossplane repo, we'd love to hear how you're using Crossplane um, and what you're building with it. And also just kind of get involved. Um, you know, there's the website, there's some documentation, there's a Crossplane GitHub Slack, which, or sorry, Crossplane Slack, which is uh, very, very active and has lots of people interacting about how they're using Crossplane, um, you know, support with Crossplane, that sort of stuff. There's also a blog where you can read more about how Imagine Learning and other companies are using Crossplane, some of the uh, advancements in Crossplane and kind of what's going on with the community. And feel free to check any of the other uh, links here. And thank you for the time. <laughs>